What's going on guys? It's Chu and we are finally playing Modern Warfare 3 and I'm super excited to bring you guys a year long worth of content. We are so back this year. We've been dropping nukes and crazy gameplays all year but I figured the best way to kick off this year is with the best settings for Modern Warfare 3 on controller. Um, so go ahead and get this started. Um, I do want to give you guys a PlayStation gift card right now to help you guys get a bundle in the store or the battle pass or whatever you guys need as a, um, a thank you for the upcoming season but uh let's go ahead and jump straight into these settings and we're gonna go ahead and start it off with our controller settings because that is what this video is mainly about because you can use this on pc and on console i am now on pc but to start it out um i already know someone's gonna say something about i'm using controller vibration i like controller vibration man that little massage on my hands basically i'm all for it so the first big change we're gonna look at here is we're gonna look at our left stick and our right stick a minimal we are gonna go ahead and lower this down to 13 so this is how fast or like how little we have to move our joysticks to it to react to our movement of the joystick if you turn it down too low you guys will get stick drift so i keep mine at 13 it allows it to just react faster but not enough to give me that stick drift issue and next over on the aiming i do play on 10 9 do not run a super high sensitivity i know we have good movement and stuff this year but i promise you guys relying on your movement is not the way to go it'll help you sometimes but you want to get used to you know getting your gun fire straight and stuff like that because i used to think the same thing i used to run max sensitivity and stuff like that but i promise you guys you get good movement and good aim with just running 10 9 i do 9 so i can be more accurate with like my headshots um but a big thing is our ads sensitivity multiplier i do have that lowered to 0.8 you do want that lower than you want it higher you do not want to be zooming around all over the field whenever you're trying to aim in i know a lot of people think they're going to flick but i promise you guys lowering this lower than your sensitivity is going to be the key and a big change for this year that we've never had before is tactical stance sensitivity multiplier i'm not a huge fan of the tax stance but if you guys do not have the special boots that gets rid of the tactical stance i highly recommend making this the same exact sensitivity multiplier as your ads because when you're aiming in i don't know if you guys notice it'll zoom all over the place real important right here aim response curve you want that on dynamic this is going to allow it to flow more smoothly across the thing uh, across the screen it'll feel your individual like stick movements aim response curve slope scale we're going to have that all the way up make sure that's up um ads sensitivity multiplier one instant uh ads sensitivity transition timing do not have this on anything else there's no reason you want to delay on your aiming i can't think of a single reason why that would be good so aim assist this year we are still rocking with default i know black ops was the meta for a long time but that has been nerfed heavily so we want to make sure that we're using default onto gameplay automatic tax burn is what i use to get around the map very quickly if you guys are a fast-paced player i highly recommend doing that you can just re uh, regenerate your tactical sprint by pulling out a tactical equipment or meleeing your weapon um, another thing on here is um, automatic airborne mantle make sure we are turning this off you do not want to get caught in a mantle an animation mid gunfight a lot of people jump shot if you're near something you do not want to be caught climbing up on that Another thing, plunging underwater, you want this on free. This allows you to jump up out of water as quickly as possible without getting a super slow animation. Another thing that is a big change this year, you do want to change your slide and dive behavior to slide only. I know dolphin diving can be fun, but if you do put it on slide only, it gives you the least amount of delay for your slide canceling, which we are super glad to have back this year. And if you come down here, another thing you want to make sure you have off is weapon mount exit delay. If you guys do mount your weapons, you do not want to delay on that. So go ahead and turn that setting off and make sure we're on tap to reload i know if you guys played warzone or anything you're probably stuck on prioritize and interact but you do want this on tap to reload for multiplayer when warzone comes out i do recommend prioritize and interact though but it looks like that is going to be all for our controller settings so we'll get ahead and head over to our graphic settings now on the graphic settings like i said i am on pc this year but i will throw up a screenshot of what i did run on console i'm currently rocking an nvidia rtx 3060 ti um if you guys are using 144 uh refresh rate monitor make sure you guys do have that on a 144 hertz if you guys have a monitor like that and you're getting below that you have an issue so you need to look into that um, but if it's as simple as just changing the setting in here let's try that um, and when you come down here make sure your brightness is um, turned up a little bit um, mine isn't turned up just from where I just launched the game um, 
and then I do have my settings pretty low on here just to maximize my frames as you can see it's custom so I have basically everything on low so I'll basically turn everything to low and then I will turn my render resolution up because it'll turn it down to like 50 and we do not want the game looking like we're playing Roblox so go ahead and turn this to 100 I'm um, then I do have my dynamic resolution down all the way onto off uh, upscaling off VRAM scale target 90 um, rate shading is on texture resolution very low we got low for our texture filter depth of field is off quality level low very low particle resolution bullet impacts off like we don't need to see that uh, persistent effects we do have that on when explosions and stuff are happening shader quality is low but we do have our on-demand texture streaming on um, this allows it to not look completely awful local texture quality we do have a normal and this will allow it to just store things in there and you'll see another setting that allows that as well Sh uh, shadow quality on low i don't need my shadows to be looking absolutely fantastic i get it it's dark space shadows off ambient occlusion off space reflections off uh, reflection off like i don't need to be looking at my soldier in the mirror um uh tessellation off terrain and memory i do have on max so like when i see things it'll store it in there and I won't have to keep loading it every time I see it. Uh, volumetric quality, low. Visit quality, off. Weather grid volumes, low. Water quality, off. And this allows me to push over 200 frames non-overclocked um, on my setup. Um, if you guys would like a PC setup sometime, I can do that. Um, a big one, though, for view is field of view. I do have 120 field of view. I really enjoy the movement in this game, and this makes me feel like I'm going even faster. Idiot's field of view, I have on affected. If you have this off, it'll like get rid of your field of view when you aim in, and that looks really weird. It's like really distorted. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, a big one is when you do play uh, game modes with vehicles on here, they added a feature where you can see vehicle field of view. Make sure we are turning this on wide. This allows you to get a good look of the area around you. Um, a big one off, this is huge. Even if you guys don't follow any of the graphic settings, even on console right here, I do recommend turning off all motion blur. You're putting yourself at huge disadvantage um, when you're looking around the map. If you're blurred, you can't see someone. Don't have that happen. Film grain we have all the way uh, low. Don't need all those particles over my screen. Um, for the movement, uh, put this on least. You do not your screen moving around a lot when you're playing a multiplayer FPS. You do not want to be shaking around all over the place. But that looks like it's going to be all for my graphic settings. So I'll go ahead and head over to audio. In my audio settings, um, I do have an Astro mix amp. So I have Astro A40s uh, competitions with a mix amp. Very good headset. I hear footsteps from all over the place. But even if you guys don't have like a high end headset, I'm sure these settings will get you guys straight. So we're going to look to set our audio mix on headphone bass boost. The only other thing I would argue on here is like cinema. Um, but. Um, our master volume we have 100 we have our music down low voice chat on 50 i do not need the kids screaming on my mic the mic quality in this game feels like og modern warfare 2 so we do not need them being super super loud um make sure you guys do have your uh, voice chat things set to the correct audio devices because when i get on here they were not um but that's really it microphone level make sure you guys have this turned up you can give your teammates those amazing call outs and if you guys uh I, I personally do like subtitles on sometimes when I play multiplayer um, just so like you can see when enemies uh, call out even if you don't see them um, their characters will call out and it'll flash a subtitle on there it's kind of crazy that that's still in the game um, hit marker sound I do rock with classic um, but that looks like it's going to be all for my settings today um, let me know what you guys think of it below and if you are still here I'd really appreciate it if you could like comment subscribe it's going to be a crazy year this year um, plenty of gameplays coming soon um, and it's been true guys and I'll catch you guys next time